All right, so as was requested, um, here's a closer look at my first prototype of a home-built discus launch glider here. It's been flown several times. I called it a snippet because I used the plan form from a Vladimir Snipe for the wing shape and everything and scaled it down to one meter. Um, the wings are cut out of project panels sold at Lowe's Home Improvement of XPS foam. Here's the remnants of one. That's the same as the blue or pink stuff. It just comes in this cooler green color, I guess. I don't know. I don't like pink. I'm probably going to get blue for my next one. But um, Then wire cut to a thinner profile here and hand sand it out as far as um, airfoil goes. On this one, the flaperons are a single sheet of Dollar Tree foam board that is uh, beveled as well, of course. The next prototype I do is gonna have an XPS wing and flaperons, the whole deal there, and glass the whole way. Uh, it's glassed with uh, three quarter ounce cloth and Minwax polycrylic. Uh, brushed on, decoposted on. In fact, here's my next one drying right now. I just brushed on some glass. Uh, this is a uh, 0.75 meter mosquito rudder elevator only just to chuck around the front yard. Um, my front yard's not big enough for anything bigger than that. But this is going to be cool too. Uh, and that's coming next, but that's how I've done the wings. They could see they kind of, if you can see in the video, they kind of have a matte finish as opposed to traditional bagging with epoxy resins. But um, I, I think it's about 80% stiffness of a bagged wing, which is for these little guys is perfectly fine. Um, I haven't experienced any dents yet. I've flown this thing pretty hard, crashed it a couple times, no dents. A tiny, tiny, you cannot be able to see it, the crease right there is developed just the littlest bit, but it's nothing structural. It's just, it's really nothing. Um, and I've thrown it at just about as hard as I can throw this thing, you know, over about, about a hundred feet or so launch height. I'm using HK 5330 nano servos. These things are, you know, about two and a half grams each. They're tiny, tiny, but they've been just fine too, torque wise. Um, the tail, I won't do this again because I don't like the full flying stab. I'm getting some play in it, but that's from a Vladimir Elf. The V mount is and a little battle damage. I did break the vertical fin and glued it back together. You can probably see the crack there, but it has an effective performance any. Um, yeah, so it's been a cool airplane. It's got a, the spar here is a three millimeter square carbon tube embedded in the wing, and that has been more than adequate um, for this guy. This this wing is, man, I'm picking it up by the tip. It's It's got a little bit of flex like they should to it, but it's perfectly fine. And the leading edge there is a two millimeter carbon tube embedded in the um, leading edge as well. But yeah, uh, next one, some improvements again will be the, the XPS wing will be the full thing and glass the whole way, including the flaperons. The tails will be cut out of foam and glassed as well with a little bit of a spar in them, uh, not full flying stab. It'll be full house. I'm gonna add a rudder. So it'll be, you know, flaperons, elevator and rudder, and it'll have a real pod. I've made a wooden plug here and I'm going to actually glass it as in the traditional method and uh, put the electronics in the pod. So rather than just on the board here, you know, the battery on this one mounts underneath here with some Velcro. Um, and it's worked fine, but I want a, tra a real fiberglass pod. So we're gonna do that. And the whole thing's gonna be scaled up to 1.2 meters. Um, I feel like that's gonna fly better with a little bit of extra wing area. Um, a little bit of better glide ratio, I'm sure of it. And 1.2 is kind of the perfect size for me. I have car seats and that's the biggest wing that will fit across the back of my SUV without <laughs> without having to have a removable wing. You can see they're glued on, of course, just like um, BOA does. They're glued directly to the five millimeter shaft I'm using as a uh, boom here. And that's actually uh, joint tape from um drywall i used for the joint it's been very strong that's with 30 minute epoxy of course rubbed into it and there's a big piece on the bottom as well and this thing has been 
it's been rock solid. I mean, I've crashed it. You can see that look back in my flight videos, I've crashed it a few times, you know, things that probably would have broken something else. And this thing, the total all up weight is 105 grams on this guy. It's super light. Um, and uh, you know, actually I'm shooting for probably more like 150, 160 grams on the next one. I think a little bit heavier will actually perform better. This, this, this guy's probably a little bit too light. It's getting blown around in the wind too much. And uh, so it's been cool though. This is a good first one. I'm gonna re replace it with a 1.2 meter that's a little bit beefier and with the upgrades I talked about. But I'll put those up as I'm working on it. But this Nano is gonna come first. Again, this is 0.75 meter. Uh, it's gonna be tiny, tiny. Just like a, a, a uh, RC chuck glider kind of idea, but that'll be cool too. So anyway, uh, so just a close up there. Um, the paint on the bottom is painted under the glass, which is really nice. Uh, the, I, I painted the foam first before I actually glassed the wing and same with this Nano as well. Uh, so it's nice to add the graphics to me and the foam. Um, so anyway, thanks.